Boy, did I make some people mad with my last video. Apparently, saying your own opinion, it's a bad thing. And in case you didn't realize, that video was my opinion. What I personally think about Chrome OS Flex. Now, before you buzz the comment section again, let me explain why I think this way. It's not because Flex is a bad operating system. No, far from it. If you are happy with Flex and it works good on your device, then good for you. But for someone who tried the original Chrome OS on PC, the Chrome OS with Play Store, Flex will never feel like that operating system. It will never be good enough. I make videos about how to install Chrome OS on PC and laptop since about 8 months now. And in all this time, I've turned this operating system on all sides. From regular install with Linux Mint, dual boot with Windows 10, Windows 11, both old and new methods, making a bootable USB, installing it on legacy BIOS, MBR devices, even installing or booting directly from USB without Linux Mint or grub to win and this last method with the USB directly from USB is very similar with how Flex works. You either make or download the Chrome OS image, you flash it on USB with Rufus for example, and then you can either run it from USB like Flex or install it on your device. So that's pretty much the reason why I called Flex useless, because thanks to some amazing people from GitHub, we already have something better. We already have a Chrome OS that can dual boot with other operating system and which has Play Store. And if this is not good enough, we have one more, FidoS, which is basically a clone of Chrome OS, and guess what, it has Play Store as well. And guess what else, you can dual boot it with other operating system. So why do we need Flex then? Well, like that guy said in the comments, we need it for enterprises, for schools, these are reasons that I understand. Which also makes sense, you don't want to give Play Store to kids in schools for example. So if this makes sense, then why I rant about it? Well, because Flex was not released just for enterprises, just for schools, but for the entire world. Anyone, anywhere can download it. If me or you could not download Flex because we don't have a school ID or a school IP address, for example, then I would have said, good job, Google, well done, you made something good. But that's not the case. Flex is for everyone, and everyone can say their opinion about it. Regarding Chrome OS, and I mean here the modded Chrome OS with Play Store, I'm pretty sure you're gonna say something like, yeah, but it's not as compatible as Flex, for example. True, it takes a little while to figure which recovery image is good for your CPU, or if your CPU is compatible with Chrome OS in the first place. But you know what? Turns out that Flex is not as compatible either. Most devices which are not compatible with the original Chrome OS or Fire OS are also not compatible with Flex, so here is kind of a draw. What else is there to complain about it? Well, you can say, yeah, but it's harder to install it. You can install it in multiple ways. The easiest way, my personal favorite, is to install it directly from the USB. You flash the image on USB, and then if you want to install it, you install it, and if not, you run it from USB. This is what I do most of the times. I don't keep Chrome OS on my laptop. I always have a USB with Chrome OS flashed on it, and if I need it, I pop the USB in and I use it from there. If I need to install it, I will install it, and when I'm done, I erase it. In the description of every Chrome OS video that I made, I also added done, ready to use recovery images. These are images that I made and I know for sure that they work because I tested all of them and if you don't want to make one on your own, just use one from there. Of course, these are images that are not compatible with all CPUs. For example, if you have a Celeron or a Atom or a Pentium Gold, you have to make your own recovery image because Ramos, Samus, Grunt or Voltaire are not compatible with this type of CPUs. But this is not the end of the world, this can be easily done by following the tutorials. And one thing is for sure, it pays off. Even if you think it's more complicated to install, in the end it pays off. Why? Because you'll have everything that you have in Flex, plus Play Store and Dual Boot. Now, of course, there will be devices which will not be compatible with Chrome OS no matter what you try. First gen or second gen CPUs, Core 2 Duo, a bunch of old AMD processors, but this is also a problem that Flex has it as well. Maybe not as many, but close enough. Now, if we take a look inside, after installing, we can see that Chrome OS has everything a Chromebook should. From smart lock with a phone, casting on other devices, all the apps that come with a Chromebook, is nothing that I tried on it and it didn't work. And also you have to think that it's constantly updating. The guys from GitHub are working all the time at it. And every time a new Chrome OS version appears, they make a branch update. This way you will never be behind with the latest features. And you are wondering if you can update it? Yes you can. I hope now everybody gets it why I, in my own opinion, called Flex useless. Because we already have the better thing. 
And if Google really wants to get rid of this modded OS, then they should add Play Store on Flex. And if they want to keep it for enterprises or schools alone, then at least they should make two versions. One for business, for enterprise, for schools, and the other one for the public, where you can have Play Store. Or they can give you the option to add Play Store. I really don't see something bad about it, honestly. Well, that's that. Cheers.